Well, now today, what we're doing is getting hay out of the field. That's Elder Doug on the back hole right there is getting ready to turn, load it up on the truck right here. We got about 11 rolls of hay we're gonna be picking up out of the field today. Now, that's a big roll, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to put all 11 on there at once. You know, we got a couple right there. Can you imagine somebody? Oh, you're gonna need to go back some if we're gonna put another one over here. I mean, um, we can probably get two on there. Yeah, leaving some hanging over. Can you imagine, man, folks in the city trying to make folks of us country boys now? Because we all grew up in the city. Uh, Every yeah. single one of us on straightway grew up in the city. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Yes, folks make, trying to make fun of us for being country. <laughs> man, y'all out of y'all damn mind. <laughs> can't hunt, can't fish, can't survive, have no skills. And I'm not mocking. I'm mocking your leaders, though, who are not teaching you, who are not training you. Hey, now you need to come on. Come on, Elder. Yeah, come on. Right there. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, right there. That's your dude. We'll see, Walt. Hey. Oh, no, man. We, if it don't work, we're just going to put one on there, all right? Yeah, Roll them down the center. May it's better safe than sorry. I don't feel like picking up no hay on the side of the road. <laughs> Can you lift up one of them hay bales, Gabriel? Uh, not yet. Not so. yet. Not soon? So. You getting there? Yeah, I'm getting there. Ain't bad, man. Well, what, about 1,200 pounds? You can have that, can't you? Shortly. Eventually. <laughs> it's not working out enough. He coming on this side right here. But anyway, like I said before, I'm not really mocking the gym because we all grew up in the city. Every single one of us in the, and some people, what well, we call it, the hood and all this other stuff. But let me tell you something. I would take nothing for this lifestyle at all. Nothing. I know, I know how to hunt. I know how to fish. Uh, I know how to survive. In this. Right there. Now we're getting this for our, our cows because we're getting ready to increase our herd. Matter of fact, uh, we're going to try to, try to buy at least eight more head of cattle this winter and start transferring um, half that herd after we get the fence done to up there straightway uh, Kentucky. Let's see if we got enough room. Tell me, maybe I'll come on up and level it and then push it. Come on. One more. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Very good. Very good. If that sets up there like that. Good job. Yeah, we're able to get two of them on there. What do you think? I tell you what, man. Let's just go ahead and strap that anyway, man. Since we got them, right. let's go ahead and strap it to the other side. Gabriel, get that bar out of that thing and let's go ahead and strap it down anyway. Because when we go down that hill, man, we don't want these things falling off. It's in the box right there. All right. We got to get out here. Let me get this box going and everything so we get this um, thing out here. So long. Right now, what we're doing now, we don't want to take no chances. We're taking our straps and we're strapping down the hay since we already have them on there. Um, and then uh, it, it makes it easy for us because we got a big hill we got to go down and it has curves in it. And we don't want it to it. start curving on, so we're going to strap it down. All right, we got four of them on there now. 
Um, we're just trying to include y'all in some of our daily activities out of straightway, okay? This is one of the hate fields we get hate from. Um, got a good neighbor up here. Our uh, elder Doug is going to go and get the other hay bales and stuff that on. We just strapping it down for safety because since we already have the straps anyway. Let me go ahead and get this other strap right here before we um, have it dragging on the ground. Let me tighten it up. We'll get back with y'all. We head to another field. You're going to have nothing in life if you don't get off your lazy ass. You damn right. If you don't do nothing and, and um, they, they, you know, but to think about it, to the mindset like that though, they can't comprehend why we stay so busy and why we work. You know it's, what I mean? It's part of life. You know, it really sucks, but it's part of life. Yeah. I mean, you ain't going to have nothing. And I'll be honest with you, Charles. Until three years ago when she got her disability finally, yeah. we didn't have no money. I had the one. Yeah, yeah. But now, the last two years, I've had the money I've spent. So I bought me a tractor. Right. I bought me a new mower machine. I'm going to buy me a new rake next year. Mm-hmm. Just in case something ever goes wrong and I have to live off this land. Oh, yeah. I'm, can, we're prepared. Maybe, maybe I can survive. We're prepared, that's for sure. Because trucking is not guaranteed. It ain't. They want to get rid of all of this anyway. How are they going to move America if they they're going to get rid of the dang trucking industry? Idiot they don't ignorant. think far enough. they still back here. I'm thinking a year ahead yeah, right There now. you go. I'm thinking, my, man, I've, been th I've always thought five years ahead. I kid you not, man. I mean, if I can make it three more years, mm -hmm. I won't owe nobody nothing. You good, ain't you? You'll make it. Oh, I'll make it. If his world don't make it the way things are going. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, this, is, this eclipse, a lot will set everybody nuts, but. You know that them boogers said that people are buying body back. You remember Hellbop? Huh? That comic Hellbop? No. There was a comic called Hellbop that came through um, 20 something, maybe 30 something years ago. And, um, and um, people were, were drinking poison and everything, gonna catch the comic as it passed by the earth. <laughs> All right, YouTube, here we are um, over in the, the last field. We're going to try to, matter of fact, we're going to stack some maybe on top to see what we can do. How much of those, how much of those rolls weigh Rick? Oh, I don't know. Probably go 1,000, 1,200 pounds. That's why I told them about 1,200 pounds average my piece. And these are pretty, that roll of mine packs is pretty heavy, tight. Well, Doug will use every bit of that trailer too, ain't it? I think, it's, I think it's a 24, 25 you can pound trailer. Oh, you ain't gonna overload it. But you could go six rows, six on the bottom, if you stack them in there a little tight. Exactly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'd be uh, ten. That'd be sixteen rows. If you took your ramps and folded them back, yeah. you could stick two more in there, give you eighteen rows. And if we're gonna haul a lot of hay, that's what we do. That's what we do. That way, right. and you're not overloading this trailer. Right. It, uh, it, you ain't gonna haul no more. That, that backhoe weighs more than that hay will. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, you're not gonna. You're not gonna overload that car. Like that. This only went all hay will. How you um? What do you predict for us um? The net the next field up there for us cut. What do you think you're gonna be able to get off of it? Because I mean, hey, ain't been, I ain't like really that. been too much. I still got 30 acres to go. Oh, you're in good shape. You just when I get ready, I'm a, on top. When I get ready to cut, I'll call you. Tell them where to put that at on top, man. Go eat. Go forward! There you go. Right there. The only reason why we do these videos right now is because the children, they love these things. The children love these videos, and that's the reason why we make these videos, though. 
the children like seeing what we're doing in straight way because when they come, you know what I mean, they can go, oh, I remember this, remember that. So it, it's just a good educational tool and piece of it. Yeah, it is. It's our life. I mean, part of the country life. I and mean, you know, everybody does it around here. I mean, it's just part of the country life. You know, I kick myself in the rear end for not buying this piece of land around right here when I had the opportunity to buy it. The only reason why I didn't buy it because I didn't have the cash on it. You know what I mean? Uh, see, when I first moved here, I would have owned from the way down. Really? Yeah, that wasn't even broke up. Oh, first coming man. And that I didn't want to live this far out. Exactly. Our friends was in what's going where we live. Right. So we wanted to stay close to land. I went on and on and on. I go right behind you. We're low now. Last of it on top right here. And um, because we have hay already up there for the winter time. And, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to stack this up and cover it up. So, you know, this is going to be somewhat good, you know, grass. We got a bull down there, a man of Jira there. That, that thing, whoo, I, I would be surprised. Matter of fact, I believe that that bull is gonna make every bit of 2,000 plus pounds. I mean, I, we're gonna have to start buying cattle that's gonna be able to handle them. And man, he eats. I bet that bull by himself could eat up one of these rolls in less than a week. So we gotta stack up on hay because of, uh, we, we've got like, I think 40 rolls, maybe 40 rolls, maybe, and then we got like these um, ones right here, and that'll probably be um, 52. Then we're going to probably get another 20 because we're going to be increasing our, our cattle. So we're probably going to get about another 20 because, like I said, we're increasing our heads um, this, this winter. And that's, so that's a lot to feed. And around these parts, when hay run out, it's out, ain't it? And people be begging for hay. I imagine they're going to be begging for a years. Yeah, because it ain't been. Matter of fact, yeah, they all too. They all going to be begging. <laughs> what you better get. Yes, sir. I'll take care of you. You know that. Gabriel and brother Brent is over there tying it down. We don't really have to. We just do it. Ah, you know what I mean. Uh, it's just a good precaution going down that hill because we don't feel like pulling that thing up out of the woods. If he would have, well, if I'd have loaded it, it would have been packed a little bit right. better. But, you know, but, you know, if my loader had been done it, I'd have loaded it and and it would have been, you know, cinched up, and you just had to use one strap across the back so you wouldn't lose it off. Exactly. I mean, no farther than you're going, that's all I would have used is one on the back. Going straight over the top. Yeah. Let's see it. Yeah, you come back on the back side and let it pull just a little bit. But... That's a nice trailer right there, bro. Nice. Of course, you know you can use it anytime you want. Well, I appreciate it. Anytime you want, you know it. You know you can use any, you can, anytime you want, you can. Especially with all the work you do. We got a dump trailer too down there. You seen it? Yeah, I seen that. That's nice. Man, it sure I did. Had, I had six of them one time. Really? Yeah, you didn't see all them on the truck? All the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lie to you. I had them. You had them? <laughs> I didn't lie now. I had six of them at one time. They just didn't belong to me. <laughs> all right, you two. We gone. on the community because they go Josh and all them they get a taste of the good old country life don't you? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Hey y'all clear this side and throw them things over. They gonna uh, they gotta loosen up the hay strap. <laughs> That's one way to get it. Hey you want me to reposition this? You want me to move it? That's 
sister Ashley and him and the children. Get it straight away. My sister Miracle and the baby. But now we're getting ready to get the hay off of this right now. Anyway, hey. Just want to include y'all in today's festivities. We'll go ahead and let y'all go. I gotta go. Gotta get back to work. So on. Check this out, Sister John. Yes, sir. You out here straightway, and and you getting ready to hit a a very important time, once in a lifetime experience. The eclipse. Oh. Yes. You got some glasses? Yes, sir. You bought some? Uh, no, sir. Uh, brother. Um, Jerry Gate. Did Jerry yes. get some? Yes, sir. You gonna watch it? I get, Yes, I am. Yeah, it's going to be here in a little bit. It's going to start getting it's going to start getting dark about 12. Okay. And then uh, what they call the totality, which is only about a minute, 55 seconds, two minutes. Mm -hmm. That's when you get the eclipse with the ring around and stuff. Okay. So it should be about right over. The sun's right there, so it should be about right there. We'll all sit out here and watch it. Okay. It's going to get pitch black dark. At 12 in the afternoon? Well, it's going to start getting dark oh, then. Wow. Well, by the time it gets about 127, it's going to be really dark. Wow. Y'all enjoying yourself? Yes, sir. You see what? Uh, we always busy around here. Ain't you? Yes, sir. You like the country life? I love it. Really? Uh, yes, sir. Ain't you from the big city of Kansas City? I am from the city. I live in the country now. You so live in the country. That's right. I'm you live adjusted. In the country now. But you love it, though, don't you? Yes, sir. Yes, you're, sir. you're an educated woman too, ain't you? Uh, well, according to the system. Yeah, yes. yeah I know you are. Yeah, according <laughs> to the system, y'all. Yeah, yes. ain't no wrong with that. We got a lot of educated people out here that's choosing a simple life. Oh yes. Hallelujah. All right, bless to see y'all. All right, bless you. We're going to get to this eclipse right here. I'm making videos for the children because they like seeing us doing stuff like this. They love it. So long. Hey, um, you got some eclipse glasses? Uh, yes, sir. You do? Yes. You know the eclipse is going to be in about an hour, don't you? Where is it going to start? I have no idea. You don't even know what it is, do you? My husband says it's Gideon's belly. Gideon's belly? That's what's going to cover the sun. What in the world is that? Our little Gideon. Our little Gideon. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's, um, it's going to get dark. We're yes, going to get sir. pitch black dark here. Yes, sir. In an hour? Yeah, it's going to start by noon for sure. By noon. See, the, the moon is going to cover up that sun right there. Yes, sir. And, uh, of course, by noon, it should be about right there. So we get a good view. We're actually in the line of it. Oh, that's nice. Well, I got my glasses. So I'm you ready. get an experience, once in a lifetime experience. You know, there are people doing all kind of crazy stuff for this um, eclipse stuff. It's unbelievable. It is. And Nashville, there's over. They projecting three, three, three million people going to show up in Nashville. They selling yeah, eclipse yeah. shirts and everything. Everybody, they make merchandise out. Of, bless you, sister. Bless you, sir. They make merchandise out of everything, bro, bud. You know what? On the way in to get material at Lowe's, we've seen church parking lots, $25 parking for the Eclipse. Are you yeah. serious? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. $25. $25. That's Christianity for you. Yes, sir. They're making some money on this. <laughs> on the Eclipse. Boy, if they, can, if they can merchandise it, they'll do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Bless you, bro, bud. I said, it's still bright out here, Carol said. It sure is. They need to hurry up. <laughs> they need to hurry up. It's hot out here. Wow. Yes, sir. Brother, why are you here? You're supposed to be at work, man. What's going on in Nashville? Nashville, they're supposed to be getting over 3 million people to come see the eclipse, and they let us leave at 10. Some jobs shutting down just completely. Really? Yes, sir. How's the traffic? The traffic is bad, and these churches, they're making money. They they charge $25 for you to park. <laughs> bro, you said that <laughs> earlier, didn't you, brother, bud? Yes, sir. They're Damn Christian, they're boy. Making money. making money. $25. Parking. $25, bud. Uh, for leasing the people. That's Christianity for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Mm -hmm. Some people, park it, some people pay, uh, charging people to pay, park in front of the house, too, as well. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. They charging people to park in front of the house. Getting a little bit darker. Give it. I'm. A, I'll, I'll come back out here in about 20 minutes. So long.